Welcome to the first video done as a partnership with the Fingernail Fixer and Divine by Design. We are going to do the Sugar Skulls. I've had tons of requests for them from my Orlando nails. I'm going to do a nice evil Sugar Skull. And I'm going to do a really pretty flowery Sugar Skull. First I'm going to start off with some Empower. I'm using the French. It's got a little bit of a pink fade to white so that I can use the white. I'm actually going to freehand cut the skull. I'm going to set the blade down and go out in a partial circle, come down, carve in for the cheek, down for the mouth, and across for the jaw. So you can see the line that I've created. Also, you can see where I've done a sugar skull before. Same thing on the other side, out for a partial circle, in for the cheek, down for the mouth, and across for the jaw. Then I'm just gonna pull that up using my straight blade. And I would normally place this on something that I can remove it from so that I would be able to remove it after it was finished and apply to a nail. For this, we're just going to slide it on a tip so that we can put it in and out of the lamp with the shellac details that we do. I'm just gonna smooth it out and then clean it with alcohol before we start adding the details. Okay, first we're going to do our delicate feminine sugar skull. We're going to start off with our black. This is our black pool. And we're going to form the eyes. Just go around in a circle and fill it in nicely. Don't worry if you haven't got a fully opaque coverage because we're going to go back in with some detail in a moment after this has been set in your CND UV lamp. Next we're going to make some teeth. You want to get enough shellac on your brush that you don't run out but you don't want it too thick because you don't want it to flood when you apply it. And just do a straight line across. And now we're going to do vertical lines down. and we're aiming to go straight across that horizontal line. Now we're going to form a nose and we're going to do this in two little flicks. One up one side and one the other way. And just to add a couple of details we're just going to do a few V-shapes at the top. And now we're going to cure that for two minutes. To create the eyes for my evil sugar skull, I'm actually going to use the blue metal in power. You can see it kind of has some eyeball looking shapes in the film. So I'm just going to cut with the swivel blade small circles. The trick to doing circles is barely using any pressure and only carving half the circle at a time. So sit the blade down and come towards you and make half the circle. Pick it up and go back up to the top so that you can come towards you again for the other half of the circle. That way you get the nice clean circle without that little jerk that you would normally get when you're trying to do a round shape with a blade. Then I'm gonna pick up the eye and place it. and pick up the other eye to place it. And I am totally not videoing in my environment, so that is not my music playing in the background, <laughs> just FYI. And now I've got the eyeballs. I'm gonna quick clean him off with alcohol so that the Empower doesn't have any skin oils on it and go in and do my detail work. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone in with a dotting tool and I've applied little dots of electric orange underneath the eyes, small dots of pink bikini up the sides and using a fine detail brush I've done a little swell with Tango Passion and some dots and some little triangles at the top with Cerulean C. I'm going to go in now and show you how to do it. We're taking some Tango Passion onto a fine dotting tool and we're going to go around the top half of the eye socket.
and round the other side. Clean off your dotting tool on a pad lightly dampened with isopropyl alcohol. Go back in with your pink bikini and don't add any extra to your dotting tool so it gives a nice effect of the dots getting smaller. Then we're going to take our fine detail brush and take some Tango Passion and do a little swirl. Now the best way to do this is in two sections to form a nice C. We'll go over once and round again and then again get your dotting tool with your cerulean C and just do a couple of little dots and finally we're going to go in with our fine detail brush and apply some triangles of cerulean C at the top of the skull. If you wanted to add a little extra detail you could just go along the mouth. And we're going to pop that in and cure for two minutes in the CND UV lamp. We're going to add some details into this. I'm going to start with the nose. I'm going to use some black pool and do a small dot. And come right in beside that and do a second small dot. Need just a little bit more in that dot. And then I'm going to drag those up to come together and create the nose socket. Clean the dotting tool off and come in with a small detail brush. I'm going to use Tango Passion because it's a darker color. I want to get a small arch so I worked the shellac up the brush. I'm going to start in towards the nose but not all the way to the center and pull it out across for the eyebrow in an arch. On the other side, I'm going to start at the outside so that again you're pulling in the direction that's comfortable. I'm not super excited about how thick that turned out. So I'm just going to take a small stylus and clean it up in between the eyebrow and the eye so that it has more of a defined, for sure, crisp line between the eye and the eyebrow. That's much more what I want. I'm going to come back in with the small dotting tool and back into the black pool and add small dots across the top of the eyebrows. For the teeth, I like to do dots for the teeth so that they look defined and yet kind of skeletonish. So I'm going to really get a good amount of black pool on the dotting tool, preferably without the fuzzy. And just go across and add teeth. And it's okay that they're different sizes because usually skeletons have been kind of worn down and aged. We want a little bit of detail in the cheeks. This can be pretty much anything that you feel like adding in. Sometimes I've cut pieces of Empower to add detail to the cheeks. For this one, just to keep things simple and easy, I'm going to come in with a little bit of Cerulean C. And I'm going to start off making it look like I'm just putting a big circle of blush on him like a clown. Which is not terribly creepy or anything. However, once you've got that cerulean C on there, you can come back in with your dotting tool and put shapes. So if you wanted something really evil, you could put creepy shapes. We'll just keep them kind of semi-evil. We won't scare anybody. So let's do swirls. I'm just going to start at the outside and work my way in. Same thing on the opposite side. Bring in a swirl and come around. Pop this into the lamp and cure for two minutes and all he has left is top coat. If you have any spots where your color kind of goes off course and does a little string, you can clean that up with your dotting tool before you cure.
Okay, we're just going to add a final bit of detail now with our black pool. And we're just going to go over our little triangles of cerulean sea. Obviously, you don't have to follow this exactly. You can use this as an inspiration. If you've seen any designs you like, tattoo websites are great to have a look at. And as Holly says, remember, see with your nail eyes. Now I've got some gel bond on the back of a plastic back pad. I'm taking an orange wood stick and putting a tiny dot in the centre of the eye socket. Now I'm going to go in with an AB Crystal Swarovski and pop it on and push it down. If this, this is the stage now where if you want to add any details, do it now before your final curing and then top coat. One, two, three, four, I, I declare, declare curette war. war.